In a world of lies, we like to do a thing here on Hot Wax called, frankly, facts, baby. All right. Dogs watch more TV now than they did before because of flat screen televisions, which flicker at a rate that a dog's eyes are actually able to process. So before that, they just thought we were all staring at a random blank box. You know, my cat Disco Frank, I like set up this thing on YouTube called Cat TV, okay. and he goes ballistic. I wonder if it's been the same thing with cats. Huh. Beethoven began losing his hearing at the age of 28, so he cut off the legs of his piano so he could sit on the floor and compose music by feeling the vibrations of the piano. I also heard he bit down on a piece of wood as well to feel the vibration. I guess any way to get a good vibe, Frank. Jeez Louise. After the Second World War, meth was prescribed as a diet aid and remained legal right up until the 1970s. That's one way to lose weight. It's crazy, Frank, because they were putting cocaine in Coca-Cola, and then they were like, ooh, bad idea, maybe we shouldn't do that. And it just makes you think what they're giving us now, where there's some type of drug in it. I'm, yeah. I'm guaranteeing you, Frank, there's something in these beat boxes they're selling at 7-Eleven. These things are nuts. A second chance coffee company in Illinois conducts FBI background checks to make sure those that are seeking employment in the company have actually been to prison because of the company only hires ex-inmates. So if you need a job, just go to prison. Easy enough. <laughs> That's good news for our buddy Sal the Sausage. Ah, it is. A Cornell Food and Brand Lab study of 497 diners showed that patrons who ordered their dinner from a heavier server ordered significantly more food, were four times more likely to order a dessert, and ordered 17% more alcohol. Huh. I watched a lot of Bar Rescue, Frank, and that guy, John Tapper, he never brought this up. He's missing a great opportunity here. It really is. The Muppets creator, Jim Henson, oh, yeah. believed in allowing a character to grow organically. His guiding philosophy was that each Muppet had a distinct personality. In fact, he believed that it was the job of the puppeteer to uncover it. I love that one. There's this great uh, documentary on Jim Henson on Disney Plus, and they go over like how Kermit was created. You gotta watch this, Frank. Yeah. You got time for one more. Come on, hit him with it. It can take anywhere from 90 to 120 minutes just to hard boil an ostrich egg. And after all that time, I'm sure it's delicious. 